Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream to YouTube Live and also recording to your network storage server, such as a QNAP NAS or Synology NAS. Uh, first thing you need to uh, have access to the web page of F239 Plus. You log in as usual using, I currently is using the default ADMIN account and also the password Evercaster. To look in. Before we proceed, uh, please make sure that the the time, the date and time of the F239 Plus is correct, because the the recorded file name are arranged uh, based on the date and time of the recording. So if you have a lot of recording files, it won't uh, looks like a mess. Uh, but if you do not care about the recording time then you can skip this step. Uh, to make sure the date and time is correct, let's click on the administration tab and scroll down to the bottom. And here you will see the time settings. You can check the time is correct or not. If not, just click edit and adjust your, uh, your time zone and also your date and time here. Uh, when you are finished with the settings, uh, you have to click save and restart. If you do so, the F239 Plus will uh, reboot, uh, restart, and it will probably take uh, three to four minutes before it comes back again. And then you have to log into this web page again. In this case, we just leave the date and time settings untouched. Now we can proceed to the configuration page to start our streaming and recording. Uh, for the streaming part, actually it's uh, the same as configuring streaming. Just select the stream type and select the suitable profile. Here, please note that uh, the when you are doing streaming and recording, uh, your encoding bitrate uh, will be limited. For example, if I select to stream at uh, the, the highest bitrate allowed in RTMP streaming, then I will not be able to do recording. So here it says uh, if you're streaming over to 4 megabit per second, and then you cannot do recording. I'll just select a lower bitrate uh, encoding profile. Uh, as usual, you just need to uh, enter the RTMP server address here, and also the stream name here uh, to continue with the RTMP publish. Uh, now you have to configure how to record and where to record. First thing is you, to, you need to select record on and then open up the, the record setting. Uh, the record setting uh, tells the F39 Plus where to record. So uh, here I'm using uh, a NAS from QNAP. So I'm gonna open up a QNAP Finder, which is available for download on QNAP website. You can click on the refresh button to look for the IP address of the QNAP uh, server in your local area network. In this case it's uh, 192.168.6.27. Uh, don't you have to re you don't have to remember it, just click on it. You open up the web browser so you can and you, first, you need to log in. Uh, my QNAP now is using the default settings, so I just use the default username, ADMIN, and also password ADMIN as well to log in. Uh, the exact procedures will be different if you are using a different brand of NAS or you are using a different firmware version of the NAS, but it's actually quite the same. For the QNAP NAS here, I just click on the control panel, go to the privilege settings, I'll click on the shared folders. There's a lot of shared folders here and I have created a F239 uh, record folder. I can create another one. I just use all the default settings here. Uh, 
So now I have a folder that I can record to. Or I can also use the existing folders as well. So back to the F239 plus page. Uh, we already know the IP address of the NAS server, so just uh, enter here. And be sure to enter the first two backslash here. And the storage path, uh, remember to precede it with uh, also one backslash. You can use the record too, or the record, it doesn't matter. Uh, the username and password of the, the shared folder here is ADMI and ADMN, the same as QNAP's web management. Uh, here you can use connect. So at 59 plus can verify if the recording settings are correct or not. If correct, it will just uh, go back to the configuration page. Now we are all set, you just have to click on the streaming button. And I'll go check on the YouTube if our uh, streaming is online or offline. Here it says it's starting. Uh, now it's live, so this is a uh, live broadcast. And as we are going to, uh, as we are already in the streaming, uh, the file is also in recorded to our NAS server. You can always monitor the streaming and recording progress here uh, in the broadcast list. If anything goes wrong, we will show the error code in the streaming st status here. Now we can stop the streaming and go to check if the files are recorded. Uh, to connect to your NAS server to retrieve the recordings after your streaming, uh, you first go to uh, my computer and in the address uh, just type to backslash and also the IP address of your NAS server. Here you can see all the shared folders. Uh, you just click on the, the one that you have recorded to. Enter the username and password to your NAS server. And here is the file that you just recorded. You can just copy and paste and retrieve it back to your computer. Double click on it to open maybe a VOC to watch it.